church where love lives is a safe place for all where we gather in wonder to remember God. back in college at my first paid job we had a viral outbreak of the computer kind and the problems i needed to solve were growing faster than i could resolve them my supervisor at the time would say to me slowly but surely this became like a chant that i would offer like a prayer so as not to feel overwhelmed by all that had to be done when i think about wesley's words do all the good you can by all the means you can in all the ways you can in all the places you can at all the times you can to all the people you can for as long as you can i immediately want to break it down to simple tasks I want to create a list and put check boxes next to them so that I might feel assured that I am following these instructions. Only I do not think that these words were offered for such reason. John's exhortation have a depth and breadth to it that no list would ever fully justify. Indeed, it may have been his intention all along to word it as such so that we cannot create a list out of fear that we would fall into the error of thinking that our job has been done. Rather, John speaks to a way of living, a way of being, a way for us to be light and salt of the earth, enhancing all of our relationships and the communities in which we share them. Dr. Elizabeth Konda Fraser once framed for me a passion for social justice as the difference between a blazing fire that burns with fury for a short while and a lamp which burns throughout the night and that we are in for the long burn. Like the Apostle Paul's metaphor for running a marathon, we seek to do good not for a while, not for a few, not for those just like us, but for all, every sacred moment of our lives, slowly but surely. Let us pray. Oh God, what a better community we would live in if we strive to do no harm, to do good, and to always turn to you for how to live in this world. May it be so. Amen. church where love lives is a safe place for all where we gather